The Starship Destiny is on a deep space mission to explore the galaxy under the leadership of Captain Troy Adamson. The crew have been in space for many weeks, making exciting discoveries and finding unexplored areas of space, but now they are nearing one of Space Fleet's forbidden zones, into which they are not allowed to venture. Lieutenant Bunnell, give me a wide view ahead on the screen. Yes, Captain Adamson. Now that's what I call a view. I never get tired of looking at the stars. Beautiful, aren't they? However far we travel, there's always more to see. Remember those incredible views we had of the Horsehead Nebula? I don't know about beautiful. It's the physics of the things that amazes me. To think those little points of light are actually vast swirling balls of gas with the power of thousands of nuclear bombs. And there's a decent cappuccino machine in the break room. Now that's a scientific miracle. On my last ship, the coffee tasted like... Thank you, Ensign Tolstoy. I think we can all agree that the coffee machine was one of my more inspired decisions. But to return our focus to space exploration, Upworthy, what have we got ahead? Well, Captain, as you know, we're going to be coming very close to one of the forbidden zones before long, but it will only take a small course of adjustment to make sure we keep well away. There are several more nebulae to look at in this quadrant, or we could go and take a closer look at that white dwarf star that was giving off some very interesting readings. Hmm, forbidden zone, eh? It's the first time we've even come close to one of those. Why is it forbidden, I wonder? Well, I reckon it's got something to do with the solar system nearby. It's Admiral Jovan's personal solar system. Sun, planets, the lot, they all belong to him. Seriously? Admiral Jovan owns his solar system? He owns a star? Yes, sun, star, whatever you want to call it. And why not? There are plenty of solar systems in the galaxy, and he is one of the greatest admirals that has ever lived. It sounds amazing. Could we, I mean, would it be okay to go and have a look? Why not? Our mission is to explore and discover. Let's go. But sir, that means going through the Forbidden Zone. Unless we leave it a few weeks until we can approach it from a different direction. How bad can this Forbidden Zone really be if it's right on the doorstep of Admiral Jovan's own system? Perhaps the Space Fleet's instructions are more guidelines than rules. Hardy Man's got a point there. We shouldn't let fear keep us back from exploration and adventure. Oh, I don't want to cause a problem. We should, shouldn't we stick to what Space Fleet has told us? We're light years away from any other ships, Space Fleet or otherwise. Out here it's up to us and the captain what we do. We're adventurers who make up our own rules. Well, I don't know about making up our own rules, but it does look interesting. And we haven't had the chance to do any real research for ages. Perhaps if we just went quickly and carefully through the Forbidden Zone. I can crank up the Destiny to full power for a while, Captain. She's a good solid ship and she hasn't had a fast run in a while. I guess we'd all like to have our own solar system one day. Let's have a taster of the experience now. I'm sure it'll be fun. Upworthy, I'd like to talk to the crew. Yes, Captain. Your ship wide. This is the Captain speaking. We have to deci decided to explore the Joven star system. Please prepare for a short period of ultra-fast space travel as we pass through the Forbidden Zone. Preparing for UFS... Now! Wow, look at that sun. It's huge. Looks young too. What do you think, Upworthy? Too early to tell, sir. When we get closer, we should be able to tell the age of the system. The Admiral chose well. 
I reckon some of those could sustain life. I can't wait to see them. I wish we could get there faster. We do seem to be slowing down. Is something wrong? I don't understand, Captain. The ship is still at full power, but Mail is right. We are slowing down. What could be causing it? A problem with the plasma drives? No, all systems are working fine. It's as if, well, as if we're being pulled off course by some external force. Scan the area for anomalies. There's something, but these readings don't make any sense. Unless... Unless we're being pulled into a small but deadly black hole. <gasps> no, the ship will be crushed to the size of a satsuma. A small satsuma. Are we absolutely sure about this? Couldn't the readings be something else? No, Captain. It's conclusive. I suppose this is why the area is a forbidden zone. Once you're in the grip of a force like this, there's no escape. It may take a few hours or days, but sooner or later, it will pull us in. And as it does, the ship will implode, and we will all die. Not a trace will be left to show that we ever existed.